Hi, in this lecture we would be talking about the integration of Azure Data Factory with Azure Databricks. So let's jump into the demo and see the thing in action. So what we have done is that we have already created an Azure Databricks workspace and the workspace is here and we have launched the workspace and you can see we have also created a cluster. And apart from that, what we have done is that we have gone ahead and put across a notebook called process data. So what this does is that it goes into a GitHub location and downloads a file which is products.csv and saves the product data to a specified folder. So here the specified folder is data and it is being saved down here in the data folder. Just as a check, what we have done is that we have also done one more notebook where it will check whether the data folder is existing or not. So the data folder is not existing. Now what we will do is that we will jump on to the Azure data factory which we have created in the same resource group. So this is the resource group and we have got the Azure Data Factory and here what we will do is that let's open the Azure Data Factory Studio. So while it opens, I'll just reiterate the plan here. Number one, we'll build a pipeline and this pipeline will have one activity which will point to the Azure Data Bricks Notebook. So let's go ahead towards a pipeline. So this is a pipeline. So let's build a pipeline. So create a pipeline. And let's rename the pipeline with PL uh, process data. What we will do is that we will put an activity which is an Databricks Notebook activity. We will also name it process data. Process data is the name of this activity. Here is the Azure Databricks, so we will have to do a Databricks link service which is kind of a connection string. So we will do a new, uh, so it is link service to ls Azure Databricks. Uh, we leave the connect via an integration runtime which is auto resolve. From the Azure subscription, we will select my subscription which is here. The Databricks workspace is already here. We'll create. We'll connect to the existing existing interactive cluster. And here we'll have to put an access token. So what we'll go here? We'll go to the Databricks. We'll go here to the user settings. And here we'll generate a new token. So this is for process data. We'll generate the token. We'll copy the token. And we'll go here to the factory and put the access token out here. And you'll select the cluster, we'll test the connection, and create the linked service. So this is done in the settings. What we do is that we browse to the net notebook path. I'm in users and this is the notebook that I'm going to use. So all this is done, so I'll do a validate all. So this factory has been validated, everything is fine. So I do a publish. Once it is published, what we will do is that so what we'll do is that we'll trigger and we'll trigger um, now only. So trigger now and that's it. So we'll wait for it to finish and then what we will do is that we'll check whether the data, the product CSV is there in our data folder or not. So you can monitor it by the monitor here. So it is still in progress, 
should not take much of a time. So it succeeded. So what we will do is that we will go to the product CSV and previously there was no data folder. We will do here. We will see whether the data folder has been got. Yes, we see the data folder is there. Then we again go into the data folder and see whether the products.csv is there or not. So that's it. So, so we could trigger an Azure Databricks notebook from Azure Data Factory. So that was our intention. Hope you liked the lecture. If you have any questions or comments, please do uh, comment in the comment section of the YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye.